Okay guys, so today we're going to take a peek into the future, iOS 18.2. Now this software update obviously won't be available until perhaps late November, perhaps even December 2024. But for those of you that want to know what Apple is working on for future software updates, then this video is going to be for you. Now at the moment, Apple is testing iOS 18 and 18.1 with Apple Intelligence. But with iOS 18.2, there's a few features that will be making changes just to the iPhone that I think some of you guys may want to learn about. Now, the first feature I want to talk about is ChatGPT integration with iOS. Yes, Apple and ChatGPT OpenAI are working together and with Apple Intelligence releasing with iOS 18.1, 18.2 will build upon that, adding ChatGPT support for Siri within iOS 18.2. And this is one of the features that many users are waiting for. This will make Siri a lot smarter and hopefully ChatGPT will continue on its partnership with Apple moving forward. And now another feature that many iPhone users are looking forward to is Genmoji. Now, originally Genmoji was going to be featured with iOS 18.1, but it looks like Apple has changed their mind and this feature has been pushed back to iOS 18.2. Now, Genmoji obviously allows you to create custom emojis on your iPhone to share with other iPhone users. And again, this is one of those features that has been pushed back to iOS 18.2. Now, something else that many of you guys continue to ask about is the redesigned mail app that Apple showed us at WWDC. Now, this appeared to also be one of those features that Apple has once again pushed back to a later release, perhaps here with iOS 18. Point two, late November, perhaps even early December. So the redesigned mail app that Apple shared with us at WWDC won't be coming to the iPhone perhaps until iOS 18.2. Okay, so just keep that one in mind for those of you that have been asking about this one. Now, something else that I wanted to talk about, and this one is for the EU only. Now, for the EU, you'll be able to select a custom or a different default browser. So what does this mean? So basically, for EU customers, customers on the iPhone, you'll be able to select other browser as your default, not only Safari, okay? So when you click on a link that someone may send you as a message or on an email link, it will bring you to Safari automatically. Well, for the EU, you'll be able to choose any browser of your choice as your default browser. And I wish Apple would just bring this to, you know, the US here as well. Many users may want to choose a different browser other than Safari. I personally love Safari, but I think having the choice is a lot better. So hopefully default browser options will be coming to the rest of the world. But with iOS 18.2, it will be available for the EU. Now, last but not least, something that Apple also mentioned at WWDC is the robot vacuum support for the home application. This is a feature that I know many are waiting for. And with iOS 18.2, you should be able to jump into your home application and set a schedule for your vacuum to actually go ahead and clean your house. So yeah, this is something that's also set to be coming with iOS 18.2, support for robot vacuums within the home application. And these are about five features that we know so far that Apple is working on to bring to the iPhone with the next major update, iOS 18.2. Again, this software update will most likely become available late November, I wanna say, perhaps even early in December before the holiday break. But I'll keep you guys posted as of right now now, those are five changes that are coming to the iPhone with iOS 18.2. Just looking into the future here quickly. I hope you guys enjoy this video and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.